Hello, welcome to our channel. We really need to start planning on what we are going to plant for this new planting season. Um, obviously, in summer season, summer stuff is kind of nearly finishing with the um, some colder weather and more rainy days uh, we can start planting some different kind of things like cabbages, broccolis and all the uh, and lots of other stuff and um, yeah we really need to plan out how we are going to plant it, what we are going to plant what um, what worked last year and what didn't and um, and today we went to market and we already got some seedlings. We are also going to plant some in trays um, because we have lots of seeds left over so from last year. And yeah, we'll see how it uh, goes. So let me just bring you along to see what we are planning for this next season. First of all, I wanted to show these still very ugly tomatoes and pepper side. It is very ugly, but we are going to keep the tomatoes as long as possible because that's something we eat a lot and we eat it all year round. And uh, so, yeah, obviously it makes sense that we just keep them as long as possible because there's still lots, plenty of tomatoes to eat. And if, and if you have a look here, we have lots and lots of green peppers everywhere now with some more rainy days it's not that hot anymore but it's still warm enough they just started producing a lot we will have to make some uh, pepper sauces or something because that's a lot so yeah um, we're not cleaning the summer beds off just yet um, but we have got some things from the market and I'll show you what we have we went to market today and we bought some things already and um, this is the problem what we had last year we all the cabbages broccolis and cauliflowers almost look the same and it was really hard to tell what we got in the market because they put them all together but i think he, fabio took some pictures to, yeah. to determine what what was what but i don't know if we will be able to tell anyway what we have in all these two bags is two different kind of cabbages and uh, broccolis and, and spinach somewhere as well. Oh yeah, here, the small ones. Um, I don't know what kind of spinach that is because that's not the same like we got last year. Um, then I bought um, lemon balm because that's something I really, really wanted to have for tea but the one that we bought in spring died during the summer and then I had some rosemary in the video. so what are you eating? snacking uh, so yes we are still have lots of tomatoes I just said that mm. so yes we are planting um, we are planting uh, things a bit later this year for this season and I hope that in maybe two weeks we can go to market again and buy some more things just so that we have some. these ones are even better you with your tomatoes yes disturbing my videos we got these ones these are tomato uh, shop tomatoes like a pear cherry in a pear cherry tomatoes and um, yeah we just tried with some seeds from the shop and they came cherry up. plum tomatoes <laughs> it's not fair <laughs> Cherry they are so good mm. anyway let's um, show you where we are going to plant these new things we are planting on this side of the garden which is as if you want to see it's like this that's where our tomatoes are this is our food forest and here on this side uh, we have some beds that we had uh, onions and spinach is growing in spring but onions all died, spinaches are still growing, which is unbelievable. Some mold on it already, maybe, but <laughs> I have not watered those spinaches all summer and they're surviving somehow, magically. Anyway, we're the cabbages are gonna go here.
here we have. I'm gonna plant them around here. I'm gonna use some compost. I can put the coat on. I'm freezing. I can't believe this is only beginning of October and I'm cold. It's evening though. So, okay, let's get back to work. I still need to plant, still need to plant the broccoli and spinach. Planted all the cabbages here and all the broccoli. Oh. And spinach here. This uh, around here is spinach. That is all broccoli. And and I think here in between, why I'm not planting like in an extra is because I think we're going to put onions here later. And I don't know what there maybe some some more cabbages or broccoli is later. And what else? we are going to plant for this season um, we are definitely going to plant uh, onions and lots of them hopefully we hopefully we can plant lots of them and uh, yeah that's going to be the next but we are kind of waiting for a bit more rainy colder weather because ideally we don't want to water any of this with from like day on a daily so then we want some Al Francaise, which I'm not sure how it's even in English anymore. Um, that we also want to plant at the same time probably as onions. I think that's for now for the veggies, probably that's it. Then we still definitely want to get um, grapes. We Last year we had some grapes that we bought and they both died for no reason I don't know they were growing really well and they suddenly just started rotting completely and died and uh, yeah unfortunately they didn't grow um, and, and then maybe potentially potentially we are getting some more trees but we will see about that but if we want to get them then we have to get them at least next during the next next month or two because that's this is really had ideal time to plant them because it's still nice and warm it's it needs a lot of rain and water you know it does you don't want to plant it when it's all frosty and, and or too hot um but yeah i think that's it for now so for the next month or so this is all we're planting we are definitely planting a lot less than we did last year but i think i will have to do a lot of flower planting i want to sort out the front beds let me quickly show what we have there so these are the front beds that we have which is my very big struggle please don't comment on our bushes because that's just a disaster we didn't water them enough and they just all completely turned yellow but for now i want to kind of decide what we are going to do with these front beds there's also this bed near the house and it's just something that it's, just, it's quite a lot of space and i really don't know what to put in there yeah, flowers is just something I really don't know anything about. I don't recognize many flowers. I just seriously don't know anything about them, when to plant them or whatever. Um, and we have these two big garden beds here in front and I really, really want to have them look nice. I don't want to have just boxes of sand here. So yeah, I need to really figure out something that that fits i need to research something that doesn't need a lot of care not doesn't need a lot of water during the summer and all that stuff so 
Yeah, that's going to be my number one task, I think, for the garden this year. Not my number one, but one of them, because there's a lot of other things still to do. Um, but yeah, if you have any tips on what should I plant now at this time of the year, what kind of flowers that are not just annuals, or, or some annuals that are pretty, uh, give me, please, please, please give me some uh, ideas in the comments. What should I plant them in the front? And then the one in near the house, that box, I want to plant some climbing flower. I don't know, even. <laughs> I don't know. So kind of climbing plant um, that has nice blossoms. And that's, that's it for my gardening today. I'm gonna water these plants and put some mulch on and that's it. Um, so yeah, looking forward to this new season. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Bye!